The dwarf planet Quaor, which sits beyond Neptune in our solar system, appears to have a ring of debris around it that is much further out than was thought possible. We have observed a ring that shouldn't be there, scientists said. Until now, every ring or orbiting moon observed by astronomers has obeyed a limit put forward by astronomer Edouard Roche in 1848 that relates to its distance from a parent body. If an object is below the Roche limit, its parent body's gravity rips apart the orbiting object into a collection of smaller chunks which eventually form a ring, like those seen around Saturn. Outside that limit, dust and debris should coalesce to form larger objects, such as moons. Quaor, which is 1,110 kilometers across and is slightly less dense than our moon, should have only moons beyond a distance of 2.4 times its radius of 555 kilometers, but astronomers measured the ring at 7.2 times core's radius. It's very, very far outside this limit. To spot core's wayward ring, the astronomers' team observed the dwarf planet against the backdrop of various stars between 2018 and 2021, using Earth-based telescopes as well as the European Space Agency's Kiops Exoplanet Hunting Space Telescope. The researchers used changes in the star's brightness to calculate the ring's characteristics. They found that the ring appears to be mostly made up of water ice, a bit like Saturn's F-ring. One unusual property of the ring is its irregular shape, some sections are 5 kilometers wide, while others span more than 100 kilometers. Standing on the surface of Quaor, you should be able to see some of the ring's wider sections. It isn't clear why Quaor has a ring so far outside its Roche limit, but the researchers think that the low temperatures, the dwarf planet is a frosty minus 220 degrees Celsius, might play a role in preventing the ring's contents from coalescing. It is also possible that interactions between the ring's particles or with Quaor's moon, Weiwat, could be sustaining the ring. Further observations of Quaor and more simulations of the system's dynamics will be needed before a definitive answer can be found. Whatever the answer is, we might need to modify the Roche limit, which could have implications for other calculations in astrophysics. This concept has been used to analyze, for instance, the formation of our moon and the formation of other satellites in the solar system. So, if scientists have seen something that challenges this limit, we need to rethink and better understand why this ring is where it is. Astronomers are hopeful that this won't change things too much because the Roche limit is only a rough guide, but understanding Quar's unusual ring will help refine it. The Roche limit has its uses, but in reality, there's no exact radius. It'll depend on the physical properties of the material that's orbiting and, as they've shown here, there are other characteristics that need to be taken account of as well. <laughs>